What's going on YouTube? Graves in the here and welcome back for another episode of City Skylines. In the previous episode, we went ahead and we built a brand new low density residential neighborhood right over here off the highway. A little bit of a commercial spot as well. And um, we leveled up our university to, let's take a look and see. We got up to recognized. Now we are working towards our, or actually another academic here. We need one more academic work, which is in the works uh, for artisanry, looks like. And um, once we get that, we are gonna go up to next level. And I don't know what it's called, but our reputation level is gonna go up. So that's really the only thing that we are currently missing to get up to the next level. But aside from that, I think we're we're doing good when you guys in um, in between episodes mentioned that I was missing a cemetery or a crematorium up here. Well, I went ahead and I added one and um, it helped. It most definitely helped. A lot of these buildings are now level five. Um, those that were asking for higher educated citizens you know i do have to be patient sometimes as well and um that helped they they leveled up uh the additional thing that i did actually i did a little bit of work in between episodes by the way i'll tell you what i did um i went ahead and i added a little road through here connecting the two neighborhoods uh crematorium right there let's see saving 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 I added a little bit of uh, trees and whatnot all around, kind of beautified the area just a little bit. I did end up adding an additional commercial area right off um, off the uh, the street here. So these two blocks are new, kind of a unique little park with some gates and trees and whatnot. Um, oh, and I went ahead and I removed all the uh, the or most of the floating garbage collectors, and I just left one over here. And we have these ones left here. So what I thought would be good for this episode is, is to kind of lower that uh, commercial demand. And how we're gonna do that is by building a leisure area. That's right, folks, leisure area, it's coming in. And what a better area than this one right over here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, and we're gonna start with that. I kind of see where the, um, the episode takes us. I kind of sort of did a little bit of measuring here in between episodes, and I'm thinking that we bring it all the way out to there. And then what we can do is we can extend it all the way down to there. Maybe not so far down. How about just to there now here naturally we're gonna connect and should we go we could go kind of maybe run a road connection through there sure why not to maximize in the zoning space we'll do something like this can we run it through wow we absolutely can and then we'll do something like this and get rid of that for now we do have to provide these folks with some water now where is this uh that connects the, the city okay we can actually get rid of that we can hook it up to nope not in there that doesn't look good. We'll hook it up to there. We will go ahead and we'll get rid of this big old line here. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to run this. To 
there. We'll hook up to there. I can't believe I don't have a water pipe through there and there. And there. And there we go. We can... We can get rid of this one too. But I think that's it. I think we should be just... A-okay for the time being. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this one. There we go, and we're gonna hook it up to right there. So next order of business is going and um, creating a district. Ah, that doesn't look good. something like that then we'll come down here and we'll just try to take up all of the inside room of this funky looking rectangle we're gonna get rid of the district on the highway there we go so now this is still one district and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and apply the leisure specialization to it and voila ladies and gentlemen we are ready to start our leisure district what we're gonna do Ooh, look at this perfect one there we'll put a uh, plaza there one that'll help us transfer power into it looks nice and as most of you guys know leisure is zoned via commercial so we're gonna do something like that, maybe that right there. This I think can be offices, why not? Uh, we're gonna do some trees there. And let's go ahead and zone out to here. To there, and I think for now that should be, uh, that should be good. I'll go ahead and put the game on three speed. While that builds up, let's go ahead and check on our university, see where the academic year is. Almost there. Almost there. And everything else for the most part is doing good. Our budget went up. Um, our budget went up because we got rid of all of the um, floating, blah, 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 floating garbage collectors. So that was kind of cool to see. Once you got rid of them, you got like an extra five, 6,000 income in uh, weekly. And it's coming in, uh, it's coming in pretty nicely. Put a couple of trees there. I think I left this on zone. We'll cut a couple there. And I think we should be good. I know a lot of folks are going to want to visit here. Why don't we take a look and see if we could, and I think we can provide a metro connection. What if we do one right there central and then a later point kind of run the line down this way? So we'll do that. And we're not gonna create any new lines. All we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this blue one we're going to add a stop here, and then we're going to drag the pink, purple, and we're going to add a stop there, and that's uh, that's that. The reason I did this is so um, the metro has an easier way to turn. Maybe in the future we'll even utilize this for a, a once around only type of, uh, type of line. Kind of excited to, whenever we decide to, buy that tile and continue this highway out that way. I do want to see some traffic coming uh, coming through here.
All right, our population is still growing. Remember, we are on the climb to get to, come on, what happened here? Milestones, there we go. We need about uh, 4,500 more people to get to our new area or new milestone where we get a new area. Ooh, and uh, we get ships. And the eco water treatment plant, which means that we get rid of uh, all of these and all the floating garbage collectors, which will save us even more money. Exciting, exciting stuff. And our population is growing, which is which is great to uh, to see. I um, we'll we'll zone a little bit more of the. Let's see, should we do another plaza or a park here? Um, we'll zone some more. There we go. That should work. We'll zone a little bit more of the leisure. And then we're going to move back into the residential. Low density. Residential. And uh, we'll zone, uh, zone or create an additional area. There we go. Something like that should be uh, should be just a okay. Um, yes, coming back over here. So this we're gonna go ahead and pretend like it was a uh, an older established neighborhood that's been around for a very long time. Up here, up here we're gonna do some gridding, and that is going to be an area. That is, uh, say, mass uh, mass produced or not mass produced. What do you want to call it? Ma mass built. Um, maybe not a whole lot of creativity to go along with uh, with it. It's kind of sad, though. I live a uh, well. No, no. Actually, I don't. I my um, my neighborhood where I live in in Parker, Colorado. Um. It's it's not gridded like this. I mean, given yes, it was by uh, my, my my house was built by uh, by one of those big builders, but um, it's not like this. It is it is more like like this, which I kind of like. Not kind of. I actually do like it and uh, prefer it that way. But unfortunately, for these folks that are moving into this particular area. That is, uh, that is not the case. I think something like that should be, uh, should be good enough. Whoa. Got ahead of myself there. Um, while I'm doing this, I'll, I'll let you guys know uh paradox interactive has reached out to me and i am honored uh at some point here in the near future what i will be doing is a let's play but you just wait it's a let's play challenge and they've asked me to create a let's play specifically to try and uh level up all three universities in a um, in one city. So we not universities, trade schools, um, campuses, all three campuses. So pretty much what what they mean is, or what that means is, trade school, uh, liberal arts, and then the university campus itself. They want it leveled up all the way to to level five. Um, and then there's some more details that, uh, that I'll share once that starts. But once that does start, we're going to put this, um, this city on hold while we finish up that one. I've, uh, I've asked if there's like a, a deadline or a timeline of when they have it ever, when they want to have everything done. Oh, we'll get back to that. And, um, they said one month we should, uh, we should be able to complete everything. So. The reason we're going to have to put this one on kind of the, the, the back burner is because I don't have enough time to do 
two let's plays at um, at the same time. So uh, we'll put this one to the side. We'll finish up the uh, the other one, and um, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we do finish it. There's, it is a challenge. There's a there's a a chance that we won't uh, we won't make it. But no, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. But it's a uh, it's pretty exciting to me at uh, at the very least to uh, work side by side with the creators of the game. Um, to try and um, beat a challenge. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, university. Let's go back to it. I don't like that I'm seeing uh, negative in population. Or it was there just a second though. Check it out. We're a three star school now. We have. Let's see. Go back to academic works. Let's start one. Um, let's go back to IT and engineering. Um, we are now a renowned reputation level. Uh, we need to get... We actually have plenty of students. Academic works, we need two more. So hopefully that comes with uh, with it. We did unlock a couple of more. Uh, areas and school of tourism and travel. Fancy. I'm thinking that goes somewhere somewhere over here let's grab let's grab a pathway and we'll head out all the way to there and now let's see if it'll fit school of tourism and travel nice so it's not gonna fit down there but it will fit up here and that's exactly where we are gonna put it Looks kind of cool. I love the detail on top, like the the little staircase going over the the pillar. Really cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Trade school, academic statue. Hold on, I thought we. Oh, commencement office. No, we didn't have all this. I thought we did, but we didn't. So commencement office, we can put that there. So when you graduate, you come here. People sit, they watch you do it, and then they go home. Uh, then we have the academic statue. We can put one right in there. IT club. We can put an IT club. How about up here? Will it fit? It will. Perfect. What else do we have? Trade school library. I thought we had one of these. Putting ringtones in every commercial I'm pretty sure we do. Ringing. No, that's not it. Trade school cafeteria, gymnasium, study hall. It's our way of saying we hear you. So don't okay, I'm, I was about ready to put money on that uh, that we got a library, but I guess I'm not. So let's let's see. These gentle and graceful giants roam it's kind of big raising off the lush vegetation of the time their mere existence transforms we'll put it right there so you can come over here grab a book and go to d it's that legacy that outdoor study and read and go from there oh by the way let's check our attractiveness now we are 70 points away what else can we put in here so the fountain, I feel like we have enough of those. So there's one there. That is a fountain, right? Yeah, it looks like a fountain. Uh, maybe. Where are they? Study hall. Dormitories. How about we put in another one of those and maybe we go, maybe we go right there. That should connect, yep. Maybe one here. Did those add anything, by the way? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. They do, they add a little bit. Eight, uh, 880 out of 900. And uh, what can we squeeze over here? Let's try another one of these statues. And there we go. All right, we have got to be. There we go. Oh wow, that added a lot. 
955. I think it's like a, a hundred in attractiveness almost. I'm not going to do math right now. But, um, all right, coming back over here, our new area is coming, uh, coming up. Um, I forgot we didn't do a district. We'll, we'll leave it alone for the time being. Um, let's... Build out to here. And then up here we're going to provide some um, neighborhood services. Now this is not something you'll find in a cookie cutter neighborhood. Well, a fire station. Yeah, you'll you'll find that nearby. Um, but not like a, like a clinic and whatnot, at least not here in the U.S. That I know of at the very least. No, I don't want it there. Let's put one there now since we are in the area let's let's provide a in neighborhood cemetery as well and school wise we can do schools we can put a elementary school here we'll come up this way with a high school there we go and then to help transfer power I'll just build out to about there, and that should work. We'll build out that block here. They are going to need some uh, parks as well. So let's... We'll give the, the elementary school a large playground across the street. Give the high school a basketball court, as always. We're going to need a park down here, too. And let's see. Oh, so close. Nope. That, that's a, that's too good of an area for a park. We'll, we'll redo the road. But we'll put the, uh, the park right there. And we'll zone that as well. And by the time those zone... Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and do a little bit of commercial over here on the side as well. Let's go ahead and check out our leisure area. It's coming along nicely. So we'll zone that and that. Uh, we'll leave the outsides for other stuff. We'll do that. I don't think I'm going to zone anything out here if I do maybe just a couple of squares uh, down here we most definitely can so we'll zone that for now and then over here we'll do some offices like the administration buildings we'll do we'll do a couple of patches over here as well that way we can fill in the blanks with the trees because we do have we have the demand for jobs Or industry, whatever you want to call it. We'll do a couple more out this way. And we'll do a little one over here too. Why not? Curious to see if we've increased our traffic. We have not. 89, 90% is kind of how, um, how it goes. I'm not liking this. Let's pause it. You know, I can almost bet you that all of this traffic, all these folks are, they're all coming from here. They're all coming from there to visit this new area here. And uh, why are we having not enough customers again? I've got a metro line right 
somewhere. Yeah, right there. Hmm. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find a, a better way to bring these folks from this side of the city into here. Because if we don't, the traffic, as it was shown right here, will most definitely not go away. So where is our nearest metro station here? There and there. So realistically, it's not too far to walk from here to over there. It does serve 476 people. Uh, what isn't realistic is plopping a metro station somewhere over in this area. So what I would what I would like to do is get a bus that goes from here to to somewhere over here and then back. Wow, that's a long tail. That is a very long tail. I am super duper tempted just for the time being to do something like that. It's helping. It's most definitely helping. They're spreading out. It's not going to help all of this, I think, but it will help. It's it's a pretty sharp curve. What if I give these folks a turning lane here? It helps. It most definitely helps. I mean, it is going to clear up this this whole thing. Um, but I don't think I want to keep that in there because that's that traffic that's, that's coming through there has got to go somewhere, man. And it's gonna, it's gonna come right back out in this way. Um, before we end the episode, because we're getting close, do I have that bus depot still? I do not I do not have the bus depot still. Um, we'll put the bus depot out here because why not? And uh, let's give these folks a, uh, a bus line. So the bus is going to come through there. It'll have a stop there. It will, well, not that stop. It'll have a stop here and, and a stop there. Sure. Why not? Then it's going to come. I don't want it coming in through here. I want to come in it all the way out to this area. Well, it it eh, if it stops right there it might cause some additional traffic. What if we go here and then around? That could work. So, we'll drop off some folks right in there will drop off and pick up some folks right in there. I don't want to stop in here because if, if the bus stops right here, it will have to upgrade the road and it's going to back up the traffic. Um, from there, we're going to make our way down to the leisure area and we'll do another stop here. And then we're going to, we're going to get out of town straight shot back to here. And there's some folks that are lining up for the line already. So we'll see if that does or does not help with the traffic. We'll check on it in the next episode that did go down. So just that little slip lane worked really well for the time being. So we'll, uh, we'll see what, what everything ends up looking like, but we're close. We're very close to um, 30,000 population, which is going to get us that next uh, 
milestone, the new tile, which is probably going to be the one to the right. I think so. I think, think so. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I'll do one more episode if this whole thing with Paradox works out and I, uh, I start in the, the campus challenge. So I'll do one more episode before I start that. And uh, we'll just, we'll try to knock out maybe two or three episodes a week on the campus challenge stuff. It's not going to be as pretty as this city, I don't think. Um, let's try to get it done and, and uh, kind of uh, kind of go from there. So I'm pretty excited for, for everything that's coming up. And I want to thank you guys again for joining me for another episode. As always, and be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I will see you guys on the next one.